always been a guy that's been motivated by people you know, slighting you, not expecting a lot out of you. What's motivating you this year after being an All SEC guy and All SEC guy in the preseason this year? Um, just just motivating me to get better. Um, just to to reach my goals, I want to be in the NBA. That's that's my ultimate goal. So I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to it. But I want to get better and better every day. And along the way of getting to the NBA, I want to make my team better and win championships. You feel, do you, I'm sure you hear that talk about you know, Jared Harper. Maybe he's too small to make it to the NBA. Is that what gets to you? A bit? Yeah, I've, I've heard that my whole life, but I don't think it's ever stopped me. Um, I've always been told I was too small or couldn't do anything. But I just use it as motivation. So. I, I think of it as a positive that that's the only thing they can say against me, that he's too small, not that he can't shoot, he can't do this, is that he's too small. So I guess I use that to my advantage. How do you guys feel about being picked to finish third the SEC this year, coming back as co-champions? Um, I don't think we're feeling different than we did last year. Um, last year we picked to finish 11th, I think, or somewhere around there. Um, we're still using We want to win every game. We, we want to be winners. We, we're not tired of winning as a school. Um, we lost my freshman year and lost years before that. So as a team, we were tired of losing, and we started to win last year. So we want to keep that going. How much have you seen Dan outside shot versus Oh, he has a great shot. Um, being six eight um, and being able to stretch the floor and be able to shoot the ball, that's that's going to be great for us. Um, He's a, he's a matchup problem, which is going just going to help us. And I just know if I'm able to get into the lane or me get him an open shot, then most of the time it's going to go in. Is that something that was kind of just holding over the last year? I think, he, I think well, the year he played, he shot the ball, I think, close to 40% his um, his freshman year. So he's, he's always been able to shoot the ball well. But it seems like now it's, it's, it's even better. So I, I think he has been working on it. No, I wasn't able to um, go do any any um, workouts this summer. I kind of stayed stayed in Auburn. I spent a lot of time at home, just working on my game. So that was great. The way you guys finished last season, how would you say like how hungry is this team this year? You get a fresh start this season to kind of keep that momentum going. Uh, I think we're even hungrier because we have a target on our back. Um, just going from I think we saw at the end of last year that. We kind of started having that target on our back. Um, a team is wanting to beat us. We're going to get every team's best game. So just going into every game knowing that we're going to get team's best game has, pretty, has helped us. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I've ever been asking this, but what's the, uh, you know, you guys really came onto the scene last year and surprised a lot of people. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the ceiling of this Auburn team? Um, of course, we our, our goals are to make it to the um, Final Four and eventually win a national championship. I think we definitely have the, the team to do that. Um, we were won the SEC championship last year. Um, we returned a lot of players, even though we lost some key players in Davion, um, Mustafa, and Deshaun. We bring in Samir Daddy, who, um, who was a transfer. He sat out last year. Austin D'Angelo sat out last year. So it's, it's going to be great. Can you describe Samir to us a little bit? You know, I've only seen him in practice, but you've played pickup games against him and everything. What type of player is he? Oh, he's great. He's he's a very smooth player. He, he can do everything on the floor. He can pass. He can shoot. He can defend. He's smart and pick and roll. He can do everything. So it's just it's like adding an additional um, playmaker out on the court to be able to get people shots and be able to make plays for himself and others. So top to bottom, the SEC is as good as probably better than any conference in the country. Mm -hmm. Everybody seems like they got guys in the back, huge talent all over the board. Just talk about that level of competition you guys face. You know, it's just knowing that every night is not it's not going to be easy. Night. Every game is going to be a tough game. So going into every night, every practice, we have to be prepared to, to play teams that, that can potentially be the best team in the conference. Um, you can't really tell who, who's going to be because it's, it's so even that um, you have to go in every day and play hard. Obviously, the state of Alabama is, is, is built on football, but the basketball rivalry between you guys and Alabama is really, really taken up. It, it's rising as well. You know, just, uh, you know, Tell me about that. Tell me about it. How it's like to have two Alabama teams making the tournament and playing against each other? Well, that's great. Um, just knowing that this Al Alabama State rivalry, just with, uh, just with us and them, um, has been great. I played against some of those players since I was a young young kid, and just to go up all the way through college and be able to play against them again is just the stakes are a little bit higher. Just knowing that it's an in-state rivalry. What do you see as the strength of the um, I think our, our biggest strength is definitely going to be our experience. Um, this is being my third year. We just have a, a lot of experience. Um, Bryce being his fourth year, Horace being his fourth year, and just 
our leaders are all our leaders are very experienced, and then our, our younger people are listening to our leaders. So it's just gonna be just gonna be great for the team. Yeah, we're a little bit bigger, but I also think we're still going to play just as fast as we do. We're still going to shoot some of the similar shots. We're still going to shoot threes. We're, um, we're going to look to throw the ball in the post more, a little bit more, but I think we're going to pretty much play the same way. Oh, he, he's just brought um, great energy. He's been he's been all ears. He's a um, great teammate. Um, he's he's fast. He's fa one of the fastest players I probably played against. Um, he's good at getting in the spots and, and finding his open te teammates and shooting the ball when he needs to. So I think that's a great addition to our team. Just having the other point guard that can come in the game when I'm not in the game and be able to produce. What's the dynamic between you and him like? Oh, it's great. We're actually um, we're roommates, so we, we spend a lot a lot of time outside of. Um, practice, seeing each other, um, just being around each other. So it's been great. How much is he picking your brain about, you know, how do you guys play in these situations, things like that? Oh, he's been doing really well. You know, he came in in August, so he didn't really have the summer to come in, but he's been adjusting fast. Um, he's a good basketball mind, so he's been he's been picking up on everything. Jared, you guys played last year with a chip on your shoulder. You seem to have an edge to you. After having all the success you had last year, how do you keep that? Um, I think just all of us as a whole, we, we've had that that chip our whole life. Um, I feel like you can go on anybody on our roster. Take, for example, Bryce. Bryce is three-star. He, he was committed to a school and came, then he came to Auburn. He just wasn't supposed to be the player that he is today. Um, you can take Chuma. He had an offer to Kansas. He didn't decide to go to Kansas. He decided to come to Auburn. Just building that chip that, that everybody's had their whole life and be able to go out and make it be us. Well, unfinished business is thinking. Um, yeah, we we did we did some some good things. My freshman year, that was our first time having a run a record in a while. Then last year, being able to um, win an SEC championship, I think feel like we did some good things. Just being relevant, but now we're looking to stay relevant and just keep Auburn basketball as one of the best teams in the conference. Jamal, yeah, my dad. Yeah, he he plays with the um scout team. So when we have teams um do our our scout, then he will um then he'll be in there and he'll do the scout. So he's, he's usually the other point guard. So go against him a lot. Oh, he he's a great player. He's he's a great shooter. Um, I think he's gonna learn a lot. His um his this season while he sits out, he's gonna get his body better. He's gonna be stronger. So by the time he's ready to play next year, he's gonna be great. Oh, it's going to be great. Um, he's one of the most athletic bigs in the country. Um, he's, he's just as fast as anybody, so he can block shots. He can he can do anything. So he's been working on his game, and I know he's trying to get back right and be able to play. What's his range? His uh, range? He's been... He's been shooting the mid range um, really well. He's working on his um, three ball right now, so um, I can see him maybe later down the line being able to shoot threes. But I know he's been working hard at everything. Last year after that exhibition game against Barry, it kind of seemed like you guys had hit rock bottom, and then all of a sudden you started winning, you know, and you proved you know, snap the tournament drought and everything. How much does that experience go into this year and help you? Out? Uh, well, I think um, that was probably one of the, the best parts of our season right there, losing that um, that game to Barry. Um, that game to Barry that we lost, we kind of did the same things that we did my freshman year that caused us to lose. So we kind of looked at it as a, as a learning opportunity to see if we want to win. There's certain things that we have to do, which is um, defending. So we, that took that took took that part of the learning process, and we decided that we had to play defense to win. Uh, I think he's been hungry as ever. Just I, I noticed he was hungry when he decided to come back to school. I just knew he wanted to come. His mom and dad both played at Auburn, so um, him he wanted to come back and, and make a name for himself and just for his family. And I know he's going to be ready to play. What did you do to get that? I just kind of worked on my game, just um, trying to become more efficient, um, turn the ball over less, um, make more shots, and just come just be an overall better player. How much did Austin and Daniel come back and return that nucleus that already had as much success as you guys did last year? I mean, how excited and how ready are you? Oh, it's been great. Um, my freshman year when Danzel and Austin played, we were one of the youngest teams in the conference. Um, so coming into this year, we're 
we might be closer to one of the most experienced teams in the conference um, with, with lots of juniors and, and seniors that have been here through the whole process. So it makes it fun to think that we have the chemistry of just th three, four years um, all together and how special it can be. Talk about throwing Samirian as another guy who didn't play last year. How's he going to help? Well, he's, he's just going to be great. Um, he, he sat out last year, but he still was in, in practice since he's practiced with us and he's picked – Picked up where people have left off um, with the chemistry. Um, he, he's just been all ears. He's, he's a great teammate. Talks on defense. He does everything that we need to do to win. How good can you guys be this year? That's the big question. Uh, my, our goals for this team is to uh, make it to the Final Four and eventually win a um, national championship and everything along along the way. What would that mean? I mean everything. Uh, I feel like I, I've really got some accomplished here at um, Auburn. I, when I came into Auburn, I I wanted to um, make a difference, make make a name for Auburn basketball program. Like I always said before I came in my freshman year, I wanted to look back years later, like at a 30 for 30 special, of just the rise, the rise of Auburn basketball back again and just be able to, a special part of that would be great. How much does that message come from Bruce? That wanted to build something that's team ahead of that? Yeah, he, he was definitely, um, when he recruited me, he came to my um, high school game for the first time. Um, he kind of preached that to me, just how Auburn has struggled in the past, and just just his vision and all the coaching staff's vision for Auburn in the future. So um, I like that very much. Um, before I went to my high school, they weren't one of the um, better schools, but then when I got there, we went. To, I think now they're on a streak of five straight Sweet 16s four straight then I, th I think it was before this year it was like four straight final fours or something like that so just just keep building on thank you <laughs> as far as from your freshman year to sophomore what did you get a lot better at what do you want to get better at from your sophomore year? Um, freshman and sophomore is probably more of my um, aspect of free throw shooting. Um, I doubled my assist too, so I think I went up. I think I signed with 14% my from free throw shooting, and I went up like almost half assists. So I'm going to continue to be more efficient passing the ball, get more assists this year, less turnovers, and I'm going to shoot better from the field. You're a little bit heavier now. Mm -hmm. How yeah. much have you I think I probably gained 20, 25 pounds since I, I've been at. I've been at Auburn, yeah. <laughs> so what kind of difference does that make for you? Um, I think I think what people think with gaining weight that you're going to get slower or whatever. Um, I haven't gotten slower at all. I've, I've definitely gotten faster. I'm more explosive than I've ever been. My body feels better than it has ever felt in my life. So I'm just using that, just using being able to use my physicality in one of the most physical conferences in in all of college basketball. Does that help you when you're driving fast? Because a lot of times you get hit and then you still – Try to get your balance and shoot. Come for three more play. Yeah, it definitely um, helps me go into the basket. Just playing against all, all of these um, these bigs and just experienced players. Does it help you defensively too? Oh, it definitely helped me um, defensively. Just being smaller, but being able to guard um, taller players, um, just because of my strength. Um, I think probably our, our defense will control everything. If if we're able to defend teams, then we we anything is possible for us. Um, I think we'll be able to score with anybody. Even my freshman year, we were able to score with anybody. I think Coach Pearl talked about that earlier this summer. That our first my freshman year, our offensive numbers weren't bad. It was more of our defensive numbers, um, just being able to stop teams. So I think if we want to stop stop teams, everything will take care of itself. College basketball, basketball, what you hoped it would be? Oh, it definitely has um, been everything that uh, I've experienced. I'm just watching it from when I was a kid, just watching TV and being able to watch games and thinking how, how much a dream it would be to be able to play college basketball and actually be in it. It's been great. How long did you realize that, hey, I'm going to be good enough to do this? Um, probably when I was around 12, 12, 13 is when I noticed that I can I can definitely be a um, Division One basketball player. Looks like 
and getting better at that. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that way too? Yeah, I'm definitely um, trying to become more more efficient. Um, I think last year I shot okay, but towards the end of the year, my my three point um, percentage decreased. So I'm just working on just throughout the whole year, trying to keep that up. Last year, you guys biggest jump, maybe statistically, you guys made was free throw shooting. Mm -hmm. Is this team going to be another good free throw shooting team? Yes, we work on free throws every day. Just we just know that was one of our focuses going into last season. So we shot lots of free throws, and just this season we're we're shooting just as many free throws as we did last year. Just trying to become a great free throw shooting team because it helps. What's Coach Pearl like? Oh, he's been great. He's um, extremely, extremely supportive. Um, he believes in everybody. Um, kind of talked about this before that that he d he doesn't allow he doesn't like tell you what you're going to do. He kind of lets you show him what what you can do, and then that that's how he adjusts. Obviously, he lets players play the game and do what they do, and in the framework of what we do. So that's always good. Got new coach, Coach Flanagan, who's a two-time All SEC point guard, mm -hmm. four-year starter. Yeah, he, he's definitely um, with me a lot. Um, he definitely wants me to. Fo he's focused with me has been um, more on the defensive end, um, just being able to disrupt teams, be able to get steals, just always being in the right spot defensively. Because, like as I said, um, def defensively that's going to be the biggest thing for us. And if we're all able to defend, then it'll be great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We might as well. <laughs> um, being able to represent Auburn is, is a great um, accomplishment. Just knowing that um, we have we have a great team and just everybody's ready for this year and just to see everyone's excited and we're excited. So it's been great. Um, I feel the same way as I did last year when they picked us to be 11th, um, 4 14. We can't control where they pick us. We can only can control what. What we do and we want to control what we do on the court, so that'll answer itself. Yeah, it's definitely exciting for me just knowing that I have so many weapons around me. Um, just with my my great um, scoring ability and passing ability, um, having those people around would make it easier for me to get more assists um, and also having those people around. I don't think people can help us much because I have so many great people around me, so it's going to allow me to score too. Yeah, definitely. That was um, that was probably one of the most embarrassing um, games of, that I played in my life. So that, that was definitely fuel to my fire this summer, just knowing um, how far we had come throughout the year and then to finish like that, that's not the note that we wanted to finish on. So it's definitely motivation for this year. Do you remember the score? My 83, 54, somewhere around there. I think I think it was that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah.